Hey y'all, we are in Royal King picking up some things and I like to look at their t-shirts because they have great t-shirts and I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. <laughs> it says she's clothed in leggings and oversized shirts and eats without fear of the future. Probably me 24 seven. It's funny, but it's a little sacrilege. I also really want this shirt over here. Jesus is my jam, but this is the only one they have and it's in the display and it's a large. If any of you go to Royal King, you find this shirt, I wear a small, but I can also wear a medium. Just, I will pay you for it. And I will and pay the shipping. You to, and the shipping. So, yeah, if you guys find one of these, I need this in my life because that is so me. What else do they have? Amazing grace like that. Sweet and sassy. And then this one down here. Jesus loving, beef eating, milk drinking, small town living, front porch sitting, country girl. That's yeah, me. You're getting that one. Derek's getting me that one. I really like this one down here. You guys, I like all of them. I love, they have the best shirts. This one, awake-ish. That's me. This is also me. I licked it so it's mine. <laughs> but I'm not getting it. But I accidentally licked one of the rolls the other day. It was for Kylie and I was joking and pretending to lick it. And then I accidentally really licked it. She ate it anyway. Look, llama, later hater. <laughs> that bottom one's not me. Braid into the surface. That's not me. Braid into the surface. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. Hey, y'all. Trying to put Jack's Pitman arm back on his truck. We replaced the steering gear. This is what you got to deal with on a farm when you're trying to work. You got goats right here, sniffing in my ears. We've got turkeys under here trying to carry my sockets away. This is just absolutely ridiculous. But such is life, farm life. So anyway, I'll get this thing put back together, hopefully here in a minute, and be able to get it out of my way finally. And now the turkey's pecking my camera screen ridiculous my phone screen rather just getting ready to go get some feed this morning the girls are getting ready to start milking I'm looking at my little stove which did good last night I, I lit a fire in it to help clean it off um, which is a good idea just get any kind of old dirt or oils or paint or anything like that that would have been in it I don't think it's ever been used but uh, I did want to try to light a fire in it and get it cleaned up. So I did that. It did very well. I'm getting ready to put a plan together for how I'm going to install it and make space for it. And this guy with the hair is going with me to get feed as well as Jenna and Hopi. Right? Right. Hey, will you go tell mommy that I'm ready now? That we did not have to drive up and get Cookie and Clary? Look, Daddy. I see. I'm glad they move away from you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go tell mommy that we're ready. Okay. So anyway, yep. our turkeys are doing great. We have three toms, one hen, no, two hens, and then we have our broad-breasted white that's roaming around here somewhere as well. Uh, yeah, we were hoping for two toms and three hens, but that's okay. But they're growing really good and they're really pretty. So <clears throat> we've got a big day planned. We did not make it to the garden yesterday. So hopefully today we will be making it to the garden. We've got to do the garden harvesting and cleaning up a little bit before fall or before winter rather. Uh, this will not be the final cleaning, but it will be a step in towards that. Our fall crops are doing great. So look at this. Here's the broad-breasted white turkey. But anyway, I did move the cows yesterday afternoon or late evening to the very far west of the property. They're over there on the hay field. Well, it, it, it is was a hay field. I haven't used it for that yet. I've been just using it to graze on. So we'll see what happens next, next spring. But anyway, got the cows over there. <clears throat> and uh all is well let's go get this day going all right y'all i'm getting to try out my new to me daisy butter turn and i am super excited i get to crank this little handle and look the paddle spins of course it spins what it's supposed to do and pretty soon this cream is going to turn into butter actually it's going to turn into whipped cream first and then butter and if i felt like making pie i could stop the whipped cream
timing it, but then the timer got turned off, so we aren't sure. But we think it was about maybe eight minutes. Can you guys see that? That is butter. There's a lot of butter. And we still have this much over here to do. Oh, that's so cool. That was awesome. That'll work out. All the kids tried it, and then it was it was going a little slower until Kylie got over here and the aggressive one. <laughs> She's grinning back there, and she was like, but yeah, that's awesome. I guess we will strain this and get the second part going. Still a little bit warm, so it's a little soft. Look at all that butter. We'll work it with our butter paddles. That's so cool. It never gets old. When you have, when you raise your own food, I don't care what it is, if you have a milk cow, it's, nothing ever gets old. Eating food that came from something you're raising or something you produce, it's pretty spectacular every single time. That took whoo, five minutes and 45 seconds. That's pretty fast. Pretty slick, man. It's a little warm in here, so the butter's a little soft. So we're gonna um, actually cool the butter before we try to whoo, before we try to make it into um, sticks. So we got a little bit more cream to do, but yeah, we're gonna cool. We're putting the butter in the cooler for just a little bit so we can work it better because it is a little on the warm side. That's for Sima. <laughs> I'm glad her hands are clean. She's using them like a spatula. <laughs> Scrape the cream in. It's good for your immune system. All right, y'all. That was amazing and fun and exciting. <laughs> and it made roughly three pounds of butter that's that's a lot of butter and that's awesome and exciting and delicious so i'm just going to work this and then salt it and i'm going to put it in i have one butter mold that does four um four sticks and then we kind of measure weigh the rest out and i'm going to get some more butter molds because we're making three pounds instead of one pound at a time so anyway that's really super awesome and super exciting so Whew. We got Jack's truck fixed. We've made butter. We, I don't even remember what all we've done in this video because life is busy. But I'm now going down here to put more cattle minerals in because we went this morning and got a refill on the kelp, the Thorvin kelp minerals. And I'm pretty sure that the cows are gonna love it. I have to haul one mineral feeder back up to the top, which isn't gonna happen right this minute but I will do it later. But uh, it might be a good test. Some goats are coming down. Let's go down here and see if the goats will eat this mineral. Come on, goaties. The bunch of stinkers up here. We call them the fat fats because they're getting fat, fat, fat. But no, they look good. We like to joke and call them the fat fats. So let's come right down here. There are no minerals left. I even gave them the other kind of minerals. So Jacob, do you want to try to video? Okay, hold it really still right there, okay? Hold it steady. Can you follow me? Mm -hmm. All right. Cookie, Clary. Woo, come on, girls. All right, goats. Let's see what y'all think of this. You stay back a little bit. You stay back by the tractor, okay? So then I can see your head better. The goats are definitely very curious about it. I would say that's a hit. So they've had access to minerals because they go over here and get the other cattle minerals, which is a good high quality goat mineral. And uh, that's what we've been feeding our cows until we went back to this. 
Um, but even the high quality good mineral obviously doesn't compare to the Thorben kelp. So um, anyway, pick on the ducks. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, click the like button and also click the little bell. That way you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. And leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about what we have going on. Um, if you have any other opinions about minerals or anything we got going on in the video, just leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from y'all. Catch y'all later.